Hey guys, it is the Golden Brick here, and today I'm here with the first Gold Brick set review, where I review Lego sets, and basically that's what I do in these. And I'm here in the set review corner, where I will be reviewing sets. Review, 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 review. review. Alright, so basically in this series, I'll be reviewing almost every set I get, and I'll be putting them into four categories. Price, box art, minifigures, and set design. So yeah, let's get straight into the set design. Now I think the set design for this is great. I mean, like, look at this. I don't even know how Lego sets could get more accurate anymore. Um, but there's one thing I don't like about all Lego sets now. Is that they put these right here in. The shoot things that like shoot by themselves. Because like, they always just look clunky in like battle packs and these and they just don't look right I would prefer if they just had not shootable ones but they looked more accurate if you know what I'm saying and then I also don't like how they have everything stickers like this used to be a printed piece but now it's a sticker piece but I guess it makes the Legos less expensive which leads us into our next category which is the price the price on this set is amazing and it's twenty dollars for like three hundred pieces um no two hundred forty seven two hundred fifty so yeah it's great price compared to like the last wave it's got way better prices because the one general grievous ship from the clone wars last wave was like thirty dollars for a hundred and fifty so it's ten more dollars for a hundred less pieces which makes no sense but it did have great minifigures, like uh, Mace Windu and General Grievous. If you didn't have one, that was your chance to get them. And that leads us into the next category for this set, which is minifigures. The minifigures for the set are pretty good. I mean, I don't really know what else you could have for this set. They have Anakin and R2-D2. Now, that means me. I have like a billion R2-D2s now, but that's not bad. And Anakin, if... People like Jedi getting Jedi minifigures that they don't have, and this set would be great because it's cheap, and they can get them for pretty cheap. One thing I don't like about this Anakin, though, is that he has, like, uh, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can't see it there, but he has, uh, like, a microphone. You can kind of see it right there, and that basically, like, if you want, if that's your only Anakin, he's just going to have the microphone, no doubt. And yeah, I think the minifigure set are alright, but they can't really be better. So, yeah, that's the minifigure. Now onto the box review. Alright, so I'm here at the box wall for my first box review. And I kind of love this box a lot because it has, like, the explosion in the background. And, yeah, um, not much to review on this box because there's basically nothing on the back. I haven't even seen the back yet. Yeah, pretty good. Um, but, yeah, I think this one looks really cool with the, it's in the space, and the spring, or whatever these stud shooters, um, they do kind of look cool on here, but that's not what they look like in real life. Um, yeah. Um, it's a warning, it's a choking hazard, so, be careful of that. Um, 247 pieces, like I said earlier. Wow. Let me have the top. Anakin and R2-D2. Both actual size, actually. That's actually kind of nice. Because normally it's just like one minifigure's actual size. Side. Pretty much the front. And yeah. That's the box review. So now, I'll go back to the set review corner. And I'll give my final review. Alright. So for the final review of the set, I will give it 8 gold bricks out of 10. That's how this works. You, I give every set a rating of gold bricks. So I think it's eight gold bricks. It's pretty nice set for how cheap it is. The box is nice. I mean, the minifigures could be better, but that's something you can't really change with this set because there's only two. And how many else are you going to add? Which is, yeah. So they could be better, but I don't think they couldn't be better, but they're not good is what I'm saying. And the set looks pretty nice. I just wish the stud suitors were gone and the uh, 
stickers. Well, yeah. So yeah, that's the review for the set. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.